today I will be doing a view of episode. Ooh, wow, six, six. I hope it's six. I probably should have looked that up before the I did this video, but oh well. We're gonna hope it's six. Now I had some mixed feelings on this episode, just, just in general, due to the fact of many things of what happened. This season, I can now 100% guarantee this is like season one. With how they're dealing with demons and, and supernatural beings. And I really like that concept. But Manny's back in this one. Okay, we started off. And Sam and Dean, this is my favorite part of the show. Sam and Dean go to Joey's house. And I'm immediately like, yay, Joey! Because I love her. And um, they're watching movies, and they're eating pizza, and it's just like this little family get-together. I don't know, it's just good. It's just good, okay? And Dean's like, what's with all the chick flicks? And Jody's like, well, see, I'm a chick. And then Dean's like, yeah, but you're like this badass chick, not this romance chick. And then one of my favorite parts was Jody was like, what are you into? And then Sam's like, oh, that Japanese anime? That erotica anime? And I was like, <laughs> Sam! Sam! And just Sam's kind of like, kind of grinning at Dean like he knows what the hell he's done. And Dean's like, it's not like that. It's like, and it's, 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 it's I don't know, it was so funny. I love that scene. It's some family bonding. Next scene, everything goes to hell because Jody gets a phone call that her good friend Aza is dead now. In the very, very beginning, and this was almost annoyingly brilliant how they could tie this in, they sewed a little boy being chased by a werewolf. The next second, they sewed Mary killing that said werewolf. Now, on there, it said 1980. So him growing up. Now, they saw Aza becoming obsessed with hunting, how he would clip newspaper articles onto their walls, and how he was devo devoted to hunting. And there's such a huge transition. Like, they just saw him growing up and working on his sheep and blah, 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 blah. And next second, bam, he's hanging from a tree and died. And I'm immediately like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's so sudden. There's no transition at all. It's just, oh, and he's dead. Like, oh, what? Oh, I think you just summarized a few supernatural seasons you did there, guys, with that. Oh, now they're dead. Too bad. And Dean and Sam are offered to go to jo with Jody to his little memorial they have with the family. Now, when Sam and Dean meet the other hunters, okay, now, we never really met that many hunters before, at least not in a large group. My favorite comedic part in the show is when Dean goes to get a beer and he introduces himself to a guy and he's like, yeah, I'm Dean Winchester. And then this guy's like, the Dean Winchester? Like, they now hold his like, the Dean Winchester? Like, haven't you died, like, four times? Actually, like, 219 if you really want to keep track, but you don't think you do because it gets exhausting. The other people are actually asking Sam questions about being possessed by Lucifer, too. And the very first time you see more than one, really, person say something like that. Like, Sam and Dean are now residents to hunters. And that's, I think, finally semi-understood to them in this episode because yeah we've met other hunters but this is a whole group of people and people tell stories about Sam and Dean and it's passed around and they are known and I just that was really good how they just kind of emphasized that and next second a lot of things go to hell because oh Mary sews up that's that's not awkward that is not awkward at all not 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 awkward, no. No way is that awkward. Now, maybe go talk to Sam and Dean. And I absolutely love Jody's reaction to Mary being there. Dean emphasized to Jody how he had managed to kill Hitler, but would not say anything about his dead mother coming back alive. And I love Jody's like, you're back, wow. Wow, wow, you hear, wow, wow. And he said like, wow, 5,000 times. And I was like, oh, jeez. 
See, like, there's an actual normal response. It's actually what I was expecting some of the others to do, though I don't know how much I would enjoy a scene. Probably would I enjoy that too much with Sam or Dean going, wow, 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 wow. That's just, it was so funny, but I was expecting that reaction. It's just like, holy shit, you're back. I actually was surprised I didn't get that from the other hunters. And... After that, Dean's like, so you can drive halfway across the country to see a dead guy, but you get a text once a week. Cool. And he walks outside, and I immediately like, Dean! But at the same time, I'm actually kind of pissed off at Mary. I'm actually kind of siding with Dean on this one. Don't think what he said was appropriate, but Mary, I'm still really pissed off at you for leaving, okay? They saw a guy walking to get a beer, and the next second, he's pulled into a room and stabbed in the throat, and you're like, what? What? No, no, supernatural shit's finally starting. Mary also gets attacked by Aza's mother because Mary was the reason why he went into hunting. And it's just like, man, this ain't working well for you, Mary. I can see why you left. I actually can see why she left this. If she's going to come back to this to be attacked, like, hell no, I'd stay at home too. And the next second, Sam, I love Sam and Mary. Oh, Sam and Mary have a really cute mother-son moment, and Sam's just, it's okay. You're not alone. It's just, ugh. And so they go to say goodbye to Aza, and the next second they see the dead guy hanging over him. They realize that the demon who hung people is going throughout the house. Dean's still outside. Billy shows up because she was leaping the soul inside. And it's chaos inside. Aisa or Lisa, I think it was, is originally possessed. And then the demon is expelled from her. Or, and they're always like, who's the next person possessed? Dean's like, I want that one-way ticket in because Billy can get people in. And Billy's like, I want a price. Like, give me something in return. Billy is like, I can't hate Billy, in all honesty. She just, like, when the Winchesters do die, yeah, I will hate her, but she just wants things followed in order, so I don't really hate her yet. But you know, she's kind of got my nose. But pure hatred has not developed yet, and Billy does help him. Now, immediately in my mind, I'm like, no, 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 you don't do favors. For Reapers, Dean, God damn it! did you ever learn this with the thousands of bargains we've all effed up on in these 12 seasons of the show? Okay, no deals. And then Dean gets back in. Then the stupid mother, oh, she got on my nose, starts screaming, he's the one possessed, he's the one possessed. And the man who is with her is exactly the one possessed, and him and Dean have a battle. It's quite chaotic for a few scenes. They... Come up with this genius plan to paint the symbol on the floor and not to trap them, that they can all walk in it and whoever is possessed cannot walk in. And, De and even Mary says to Dean, oh, that's smart. And I'm like, ee, 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 family, family, if we squint, is there some family moments between Dean and Mary? And... Mary goes in the other room and gets an angel blade, which Aza kept, and then the, and then Jody is over there to Sam, I think your mom's possessed, your mom's possessed, your mom's possessed, and I was even thinking she was possessed, because Mary went in the other room, and then Sam's the one that pulled out, hey, your voice doesn't sound the same, Jody, and I was like, oh, I didn't catch that plot twist, damn it, I should have catched it, but I didn't, and... Jody's the one possessed. Okay, the part that completely outraged me in this is Mary picks up the angel blade to kill Jody. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa no, D Mary, you sit your ass down. We don't kill family. No, 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 this is not a thing, Mary. You've been dead a while, but you don't kill some of them, okay? You try to help them. Even Sam has to pull it back. Now, it's quite, quite cool how they did end it with um, the demon pulling, the guy, his name started with a B. Can't remember it now, though. Pulling him back and saying that he had to confess what he had done. And the group stands up. There had been two people in a group. And there was Sam. And there was Mary. And there was Dean. And I think it was just those four. And 
Sam stands up, starts saying an exorcism, gets knocked against the wall. The group tries to continue this exorcism, knocked against the wall. The guy um, is starting to talk. His dean starts to say the exorcism is knocked against the wall. And the, dean, and the guy admits that he killed Aza on accident. And Mary finishes off that. I knew it was going to be Mary who finished it. That was kind of predictable on their part. Finishes off that spell and... And that demon's gone. That bit's gone. And we are left with the fact the guy is a murderer. He explained it was an accident because he pushed him against a rock. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. If you were a hunter and you had faced all these evil forces, would you want to die of a head trauma to a rock? No. And then they hung his best friend and tried to blame this demon. I was like, ugh, I hate you. The correct form of punishment they discovered would be just to tell stories about how much he failed and was a loser and uh, how everybody would hate him now. And I was like, uh, no. Like, Jody's a freaking sheriff. Can't she have him arrested or something? No, she's not in her, like, jurisdiction, but can't you talk to the local officers and have him say something like that without mentioning if there was a demon? Okay, more punishment would be great. And... Jody even says to Mary that it's it's a mother and a son just being reunited, and that is just the only thing that should matter, and it should be perfect. Billy comes at the very end, and this surprised me, because she says that Dean promised her soul to leap, and she wants Mary's, and immediately like, no. No, no, this is not happening. Uh uh. And then Mary's like, So what would happen? And she seems mildly interested. And I'm like, Mary, 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 stop it. Stop it. You're scaring me. Stop it here. And she's going on with the conversation. And she finally ends it with, Well, I guess you'll just have to wait. And I'm finally like, Oh god. She actually had me convinced that some shit was gonna happen. I was like, Mary. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just stop thinking about it. Stop it. Stop it. No. And Billy's like, Winchesters. I didn't hurt in the ending. Sam's like, oh, so does this mean you're coming back? And then Mary's like, I'm coming back, but I still need time. God. Have you ever heard that Selena Gomez song from nine centuries ago called Round and Round? Round and Round, we're never gonna stop going round and round. That one? Yeah, that was kind of this whole episode because at first I'm like, yay, he's coming back, and this is like, I need more time still. So there's still me that weird awkwardness, and I'm like, ugh. Can someone just, like, stop this weird awkwardness? I don't like it, it's annoying me. And it ends with Sam, Dean, and Mary going to get breakfast especially with bacon now i i don't i feel like i should have enjoyed this episode i feel like it was well written and well crafted and all of that and so i should have enjoyed it because if you've been watching i've given the last few episodes quite good rankings but this episode just was like there was no point in it except for reuniting mary to sam and dean and i was just once, I just, oh, at the very end after that, I kind of, like, realized that. And I was just like, mm. I'd give this, like, a 3.5 out of 5 star rating. I don't know if it's up there to 4. I was not blown away by it. It wasn't my favorite ever. It was still pretty good, so I gave it a 3.5. It's just so hard to explain why I'm disappointed in it, but it's just the... What should have been there was there, but then it was there for the wrong reason. If they went to reunite Mary, Sam, and Dean, they could have just done it in five minutes in another episode. In all honesty, it just could have. So, I'm giving, I'll, I'll give about a 3.75. Let's say for 3.75. Yeah, that's a good rating. It's, it's not up there on my list of favorites yet, but I better at least, I'll see you next time. Bye!